Prince Michael Atobatele Foundation empowered 30 youth couples in Lagos. As part of the activities lined up to mark the second year remembrance of Prince Michael Babatunde Atobatele, fondly called Uzi, the second son of the popular Lagos socialite Bola and Tony Atobatele, who passed on last year, September 11, 2016, at the age of 22 years after a brief illness at Redemption Hospital in Lagos. As regards this, the family had set up a foundation in his honor, PMFR Prince Michael Atobatele Foundation, to actualize his vision he had in mind to help young entrepreneurs to be self reliant and self employed. Recently, the foundation empowered 30 youth coppers. The foundation trained the coppers and donated sewing machines to them. The coppers out of 50 participants who were emerged at the test competition held recently at NYC Camp Yanopaja. The foundation was established to give hope to the destitute, less privileged, and down children to the society by educating, empowering, and ensuring their overall welfare. To organize seminar, talk shows, and conferences that educate and counsel youth on entrepreneurship, executive moral, and self development to attain the level of the society. Into my house, I was giving her money to cook. You know, so somehow I got married that same year indirectly because I started paying, giving my younger sister, you know, upkeep. I started paying bills. I bought my first car, you know, while I was in school. I had issues with police when they stopped me because somehow they feel I'm doing that with a woman. Why? So until one day when I explained to one of the policemen that look, I explained how the amount of money I was making and all of that. And you see, the thing about it is the fact that I graduated. I thank God we are all graduated here. Of course, we are stepping. I also saved him by Elsa. But the truth about the matter is that the opportunity that we have to be tailors, please, I would prefer that you call yourself tailors and not brand consultants. You know, a wardrobe consultant. A lot of people these days make clothes, but they call themselves wardrobe consultants. And because you confuse people, you will not be able to sell your ideas to them. I have a friend that makes clothes. He's a, he's a literate uncle that is a billionaire and came from the US. I was asking him, my, 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 I said, my boy, what do you do now? He said, um, uncle, I am a wardrobe consultant. So the man traveled and came back, went to China, came back to Nigeria. I said, okay, you told me you're a wardrobe consultant. Uh, which kind of wardrobe did they do? He said, I'm concrete. Did they do? Or did they do wooden uh, wardrobe? So he said, no, I make clothes. He said, you're a fool. I went to China, I saw fabrics. I would have bought fabrics for you for free. You know, so you need to understand the fact that um, the opportunity you have, you need to take it a step further. You cannot underrate the place of education, formal education and informal education. Now, for me, it's a, it's a, it's a ritual to go to Italy every year. In a couple of weeks, I'll be going to Italy. I cannot afford not to go to Italy every year. Why? I have Italian friends, Italian shoemakers that educate me about the new technology in the shoemaking industry. All right, so you cannot afford. So if I were you, and you have an opportunity to travel as your next trip, instead of going to Dubai, what are you going to do in Dubai? You can do stop over in Dubai and go and take selfie. But go to places like Italy for fashion. If an Italian man makes suit for you, you would, you would, you would be So I'll just start with a scenario that would help us to drive home the point that we're trying to um, push across to everyone so that you will be on the right path. Because it's possible for you to get a gift and not know how to um, expand on it or to use it such that it will profit you and it will go a long way um, to, um, for you to benefit um, from the gift. So um, the first scenario is um, um, Mr. Hay starts a business and um, it starts with the name Mr. Hay. Everybody he meets um, to, to introduce his business to, they are like, oh, what do you do? Oh, I'm into tailoring. Um, and then they give him a job and then at the end of the day, they ask him, how do we pay? Bring cash. So he got very comfortable with bringing cash or I'll just send it to my account. I have a savings account because I don't want COT. So I'm not going to be using a current account. I really don't want that COT. Um, and then one day he comes across 
a, a, a big cooperative and then they want to make uniforms. And they need someone that can deliver within a week. They are they are also they all, they also have a, a target and a timeline for these uniforms to be delivered. And then you have a friend, Mr. Hex. Mr. Hex tells the company that I know Mr. A is very good, that he is so good that he would not fault a single uniform that please let me recommend it to you. And it goes ahead to recommend you to the company. And the company says, um, bring your profile. Bring what you have done. And then you do all of that. And they said, oh, oh, this is cool. You know what, go and fill our form. And then you get to a point and it says, company name. And then you put Mr. A. And then they come back to you and they tell you that, no, we need a corporate name. It can't be Mr. A. And then you try and you're like, oh, what do I do? You run around, you run around. But our beautiful system, um, you're not able to accomplish or to get a, a business um, name registered. And, and then let's say, for example, you start using, um, you, you've been using Mr. A. Mr. A is actually not your name. It's actually a company name that you've been using. And then you, you, you go to search for that name. And then TNC tells you that somebody is already using Mr. A. Then you go back again. See, it, the, the time that you're using to search for the name, somebody else that has a, 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 ready, a, a readily registered business takes the brief and the person is done with it. By the time you are done and you go back, the opportunity is lost. How I switched from law to fashion. Um, when I was in uni, I hated my time in uni, like it was so horrible. And this is me being honest. And every day, I would ask my parents, why am I here? Like, I, I, I'm tired, I don't want to do law anymore. And they're like, see, you're doing okay in school, just finish this, and then you can do whatever you want to do. And I'm just like, see, I'm wasting my time. I can be out there making millions, I'm sitting down here going to class, learning about things that I'm not going to use. And my mom was like, don't worry, just do this, do this for me. I love my mom, so obviously, that's a beautiful heart. So when I was done with uni, my mom said, okay, so next step for you is law school. I'm like, no, I'm done with uni, I'm not going to law school. I, I said I should do it for you. I'm done it for you now, so next step, fashion. And before I was done with uni, I already launched my fashion line. We had a fashion show. So I was like, I'm definitely sure I'm going to do this. So my mom is like, you know what, let's go and talk to your dad. So I spoke to my dad, and my dad is like, ah, congratulations, bro. I see you have money. You want to do fashion. And you have money to set up your business. Go and start now. I'm like, nah, I don't have enough money. I need, you know, like an investor. I was hoping you can invest. And he's like, well, I will invest. I don't need a business plan. I don't need all of that. What I need is your law school certificate. I'm like, okay, so in law school, you come out with your lowest grade. Like, it's actually really insane. You see people in law school, they are scratching their head. Like, law school is difficult. You don't let anybody lie to you. It's so hard. So, I was like, I just lost my lowest grade. If that's how I'll go to law school now, that I feel. And I was just like, do it and then I'll help you. So, I went to law school. And then I passed, and then I started, I got a store and everything, and it was really, really, really hard. I made a lot of mistakes, and this was because when I was starting, like, I've never worked in an office, so I don't really, like, apart from my working for myself, I don't have work experience, so I made a lot of mistakes, but I learned from them, I did not let the mistakes hold me down. So um, basically, building my business every day, I would go to work. I would, I don't know how to sew, but I'm a very good manager, and I can, like, I design pretty well. So what I do is, you know, I work closely with my tailors. Everyone says how working with tailors is so hard, how one day you just get to work, all of them just say, Madam, you know they work again, you know, it's all over, goodbye. You know, I used to hear horror stories, so everybody would come and advise me. Oh, you need to learn how to sew. If you don't know how to sew, you'll be able to do this fashion business and you know, all of that. In my journey, a lot of people have 
always come to advise me. Everybody has advice, obviously. But the thing is, um, what helps me is when people advise me, I go to do my own research and I go to learn. I'm a very fast learner, so it's easy for me to just sit down, you know, go online or buy books, read, take my notes, you know, know what I need to know, and then I start calling. So having a good network is also very important. So I go number one. Contestant 31, number 31 number 31 23 34 24 44 44 As you all know, fashion industry in Nigeria is taking a new turn yes. and your story will be heard and you will tell your story. And of course, the organizer of this foundation, God himself will lift them up. I'm, I'm just so excited because I just heard of it that Sunday afternoon. Someone just talked about it in the room and I was like, have they started? And I just ran down. Everyone was already seated. So it's a privilege and I'm so, so excited about this. I'm really excited. Yeah, I want to say to them, God bless you very much. Thank you so much. God will reward you for your thoughtfulness and your generosity. God bless you. I'm deeply appreciating you all. Thank you. Richard Daiwo, Assistant Director, Skill Acquisition and Entrepreneurship Development, NYC Lagos State. I, I know that it's a very noble foundation. Um, right, that was established to keep the memories of um, give you the prince alive. He actually was uh, a core member as at when he passed on winners, to be with please. the Lord. A lot, you know, the machines were not just given to them. They were uh, the 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 the, the soil was made fertile before the seed was planted. So they had. They had received a lot of mentorship even before they got these machines. And, I believe and that I means that the stage but is set. Then I was of, 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 they have no excuse. Maybe that was and you knowing the kind of core members they and are, I, came, I know by next year there will be a lot God of testimonies. Yeah, it's very noble, yeah, it's awesome, it's, um, in fact I'm short right. of words, to empower Holy 30 Lord, youths. Lord, hallelujah. 30 core members with sewing machines, it's awesome, it's yeah. awesome, and uh, we in NYC, yeah, yeah, come here, come we here. are sincerely and deeply appreciative yeah. of the gesture extended to our core members by this one. My name is Michael Atobatele, I am Michael Atobatele's mother. It's getting late. And uh, what we're doing today is to uh, empower you. have a program. You. You have a program. Because the foundation was um, the foundation was founded when uh, Michael passed away two years oh, ago, was not and this is the second time that we're having have this empowerment. Yeah, Last year but we but have you have to this part. Sorry now, and this year we're empowering other, another thirty. You want to pass? Uh, because, um, my son. Bless his memory passed on so, while he was seven. Uh, I go so I decided years, so we'll that, okay, back. this year, we'll let's come to NYC camp. If the government come on board, yes. If they don't come on board, yes. Because, I mean, the main reason why this foundation was founded was because we know that government cannot do it alone. So as an individual, as me and you, when God has provided for us, I think we should look at people that are not, that are looking up to us and provide for them. Do empowerment. We do trainings, we go to schools. Next year we are coming to the camp, we are going to do, we do trainings on uh, entrepreneurship, on etiquette, it's, it's, it's unending. As, it, as we have the fund, so we are opening the, um, the mission and the vision of PMAF. Because when my son was alive, um, he, loves, he loves people. He's a fashionista, he loves fashion. And um, he loves having people. Michael cannot see you suffer. Whatever he has, he's going to give that person. 
and that's what informed me that his memory was the his aspiration because he, he aspired to to grow to be the biggest entrepreneur Nigeria will ever so produce. But you know, since God wanted him more than we house. wanted him, I want him to live in so many people. And that's Mahou what the foundation has been able to achieve. Yeah. There are couples that I believe that they are well educated and when we interview most of them during the course of the skill test, we know that Not they are capable because some of them wants to be actually be a fashion designer. Best, so that's why we didn't just give them the sewing machine. We made them go through the sewing skill, the sew and everything, and then we, come, we, we looked at them, there are judges that judge them, and they know that they are ready to go into the world. And we, you know, we are going to encourage them to acquire more skill, to brush it up, so that in future they can be employer of labor. We monitor them, we have them. Um, we gather every month, even those ones that we had last year. We gather every month and we bring speakers to them to teach them about business. All we teach them is about business and etiquette, how to register their company. If they have any problem, they will share it on the platform and they will have an instructor answering them. But it's still going to be diversifying. But because fashion is Michael's passion, we're first following his passion before we're going to diversify later on. To get the projects done, we admire your creativity. And I personally, I was impressed with your strength and passion. I know it's not easy within the hours being given to you for you to do your cutting, think of what to do at that time. We want to sincerely thank you for giving Princess Michael and Topatella Foundation your very best. And Daviva is wishing you all the very best as you journey in the fashion world.